David is an incredible international uh, superstar, ventriloquist. No, I'm a ventriloquist, ventriloquist Steve. I'm mm. a superstar. Yeah. He's a ventriloquist superstar. It doesn't matter who he says. This guy, um, now, so uh, tell me what possessed you as a ventriloquist to do a complete uh, lip sync? Um, in 1986, and I'm doing my talk tomorrow, I'll show you, I'll, I'll walk you yeah. through the whole thing. But in 1986, I put robotics into Chuck Wood and did my classic um, bit where uh, he fires me, I leave the stage, and he comes to, to yeah. life using robotics. And I was in a club in St. Louis in about 1988, and I did that, and a guy came off, I came off stage, and he came up to me and goes, hey, that was really cool. How do you do that? I said, well, I'm using a radio control airplane transmitter, and I've got this thing here, and a wire. I said, but damn, if only I can program it and record it. He goes, I can help you. Uh, he... And this guy, uh, he built me this box that was able to, using a cassette tape and a sync track on a stereo cassette recorder. The left channel was beep, 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 and the right channel was the audio. Wow. And you have to press these buttons in a certain order, and I'd record it, I had a way of recording it all. And I had my three dinosaurs, uh, three channels, and I did, um, the first song was um, uh, Life is But a Dream, Sweetheart. That was the first one I did. I did I Get Around. Yeah. And then I said, well, what, what can we do? And let's do Bohemian Rhapsody, just a natural. And then I added the heads, uh, I added the blinking and all the, all the channels. Yeah. And, well, you, yeah. You're an, an incredible engineer as well as an entertainer. You just have both sides of the brain going on. Well, I do a lot. Well, I, uh, I, I've been flying and building radio control airplanes all my life. Mm -hmm. So that is the type of talent you have to have because not only do you build a plane, but you have to fly it and make sure it doesn't crash. It's puppetry, air puppetry. It is. It's air puppetry. <laughs> and so these things have to be durable. And, and if you're doing a show of 40 performances in a, in a month, you can't have anything break. Yeah. And I had people help me with ro uh, robotics in the beginning and programming. Uh, but I had to learn it myself so that when I was on the road, I was the technical advisor that had to get out the soldering iron wow. and fix or repair or replace. Well, I've seen some of your work close up, and I happen to have one of them right here, because I'm starting at David Strassman Museum. Um, I think I might have... Is this Bob? Am I supposed to know about this? Is I don't know about this. Is this Bob? This one? This one? Is this Bob? This that, Bob? Yeah, that was Bob. That was the one... Uh, yeah. Look at this. There he is. There's Bob. Wow, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> this is just the coolest guy. I just fell in love with these when I saw your videos um, years ago. And uh, I went down and visited David. He, he, he invited uh, some ventriloquists to come and see his live performance in L.A. It was a... And my latest show, yeah, I Teddy. Yeah. I Teddy, the, the incredible. And so I went and met him there, and then we talked. And we talked about maybe, what could I still take these and make them available someday to the public, to entertainers uh, like yourself, but on a, on a budget. Well, I retired these. I, yeah. I, I had them. They don't fit in my current show. Mm -hmm. And so I, I had them. When, when, when we met, I said, Steve, I've got these puppets, and they're not in my show, I, and I don't want to kill them. I don't want to have no. them just uh, be dust in a, in a garage. And so he goes, I could do something with this. Oh, man. Well, this little guy, uh, truly, truly an inspired little character. Let me set him in this center stage here. Did he lay that stickers? Hopefully, he'll still learn. All right. And you guard him in case he's. Don't he's, fall. He's being controlled by John in the back of the room. Let's look over here. Fantastic. Oh, wait, we're supposed to look. Now, I want to show you something. Um, I, we're, we're working on the animatronic version of this uh, to release to the public, but we've also made a less expensive um, 
hand puppet version of this character. And this is the first time that David's going to see it tonight. And um, better I want, be good. I want to show you those on stage. It better All be good. All this stuff is great. <laughs> yeah, okay. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. And so, um, I don't know where Larry is now. I'd love to, uh, I'd love to reach out and give a big thank you. Yeah, but, um, well, we are right now. Yeah, thank you, Larry. Yeah, thank you, Larry. Um, and uh, he was the one that designed it. So That's so great. Nice. So we took uh, David's molds, the only ones that we had, and we made um, our reproductions from it. But what happens in the world of latex and rubbers is that you get a reduction in size. So that's why these are smaller, uh, but, but they're because they're from the original molds. And uh, that's really, really cool. And it makes them really cute and uh, um, just incredible. Would you like to try it? Yeah, definitely. You hold it. Yeah, I will do. You might like it. You bet. Do I have to do ventriloquism? You don't have to. Whatever you want to do. Hey, hey, hey. How are you? How are you? <laughs> this is really easy to work, too. And it's so light. It weighs nothing. Yes, yes. So, yeah. so light. Are you going to do uh, blinkers on this? We will um, on the animatronic version. I um, would like to. Take a, yeah, the, he, he picked it up in the, in the video, didn't he? He picked up the microphone. No, I shoved it in his mouth. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was a smaller microphone. Um, <laughs> let me. Slip latex? That's latex, slip latex. So really, this, was, really well done. this was a very thin latex with, uh, with polyfoam on the yeah. inside of it. Yeah. Polyurethane foam. And I tell you what, you hold and you this know, microphone. You know what I love about this? The, the mouth closes all the way. Yeah, exactly. We, yeah. we extended the, the slits in the side and made them deeper. Uh, Jose, my uh, production manager, worked yeah, on the, these molds. The detail in that mouth. It's incredible. <laughs> and we have another version of it I want to show you, Dave. Okay. Hang on. This is amazing to hold this together. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. 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 Look at no, that, that's Kirby. Oh, Kirby. Because I named her Herbie, Kirby, and Bob. Oh, <laughs> that is hilarious. So this is in the uh, little egg that we do with our, our uh, terret, uh, our little dinosaur head, the hatching egg that actually we presented last year, or I think it was last year, two years ago. They're all running together in my mind. So check it out. It's a head stick with a ring, a finger ring. So you could take that head out and put it in this egg, too. So if you got a head and a body, it just fits right on in. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now this is what we call a mashup. <laughs> you take one head and another body and put them together. And you're like, now watch, that's the one everybody's going to want. Right? I like to act like I'm selling, but this has got really good action. Thank you. Pajamas. <laughs> So, anyway, these are the new uh, little Triceratops dinosaurs, David Straussman's uh, 